Alberta Workers, the, the, the program that we did um, with you. And we worked three different com communities, right? So we were working with the Filipino community and uh, the, it's more Eastern European than, than just the Russian workers, right? So, and of course the Spanish speaking workers were, and others, I think that we, we had others included in the, in the program. And um, we created a program where we were going to help the workers understand their rights and responsibilities when they have a job, when they have to come to work, regardless of what that is. Right? And um, it was a, a way to um, present it to, to new recruits or to new workers or people that they are just starting to train. And I remember the women that they are you know, trying to find the, the first job in Canada, also that they needed to know about this. Um, and uh, what, why, why it was important for them to know this, right? Who, and uh, discovering as well if in their own experience back home they had knowledge, a little bit of knowledge about um, occupational health and safety. And some did, some others, no, that was not something that they, they would consider important or that they never heard about it or, you know, depending of, of the communities, I guess, right? So, yeah, it, it was um, an interesting um, time where we saw different groups and saw different people from different communities and how they approached that and what were the the situations or the moments. And sometimes we learn about uh, accidents and things that happen, you know, because they, people, they were not aware, you know, that uh, they could say no, or they could say, this is dangerous, I won't do it, right? So, yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a good, it, it was a good program. What, what stands out from you that you learned or reinforced what you already knew out of that program? Maybe. I learned that um, that you cannot take for granted that just by, you know, delivering a, a little spill, you know, to say to somebody, oh, yeah, well, you have to do things this way, that people are understanding and they are going to do it, right? Because what for you in your mind might be a priority not necessarily means the same because they are thinking about other things. They are, they are not really thinking, well, you know, this is important. Um, they might think, well, I have to go and sit for an hour to listen about this safety thing. Oh, what a waste of time, right? I know how to do it. I don't need somebody to come and tell me. But in reality, it's not that. It's, to me, it's more, uh, are they understanding not only the concept, not only, but the why. Why is important, right? And, and the same, uh, I think that for me, it should be also the, the companies that they have to make sure that they have the training um, done in a way that not only can um, help their workers, but they are helping themselves because if the workers are not going to get injured, they are not going to have, you know, time down or losses or, you know, it comes very basic, you know, dollars and cents as well, right? Do you think that the workers that you, you taught or did the workshop for, do you think that them learning their rights means that they are going to participate and use their rights? I think there is an awareness um, to what degree can they participate and apply it, it's difficult to know because you have to consider other aspects of it, right? So for a, a worker that is temporary, that their income to feed his family back home and to make sure that he has enough money here to feed himself uh, depends on that job. So if he's going to question or if he's going to say, no, I'm not going to participate, 
might mean that, uh, you know, he's going to lose that job and they are going to send him back, right? So he's going to think twice before he does that. But in those circumstances, I think that you have to make sure that um, those particular workers are also aware of other consequences, right? So you might lose your job, but you don't want to lose your life, right? So it's, it's, it's more of a common sense in a way. But the stress that they have, not knowing because that word means a lot, you know, means that survival for their families. Um, it doesn't, they don't want to do something that they are going to lose that job, right? So, because it's not so simple to say, I'm just going to go across the street and find another one. You know, the, the regulations and the way that they come sometimes um, won't allow them to do that. Right? They are changing now a little bit those, those laws, you know, for temporary workers, but not everybody will have a open permit. Not everybody would have, you know, a way to say, well, you know, they are not treating me right in this job. I'm going to complain. I'm going to, and I will find another work, right? So, yeah. So it's a lot of other things that they come into place. It's not only the educational component, but it's also the circumstances of those workers, right?